Welcome to the Vape Out Podcast. We got an exciting show tonight. Um, mainly, or first, I want to talk about some current events. Um, really, one important one, but uh, Cloud Comp coming up in about a week and a half, roughly 31st uh, of January. It'll be here Saturday. Uh, the first comp's going to start at 4, 4.30, somewhere in there, and it'll continue from there on. We're also having a live band. Um, we'll, we'll get a little more into that later, I think. Yes. Um, another current event that I did want to mention was... Uh, <laughs> Gary is trying to grow a beard or some facial hair. And uh, Didn't we mention that like every podcast? Yeah. You guys did mention it last time. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just want to give him some encouragement, you know, hopefully. You giving his beard encouragement or him? Yeah. I'm confused. Both. Okay. Anyway, um, Dan is going to be doing a Cape, yeah, a juice review, Cape Fear by Lighthouse. This one. So he'll no, get into that. Like There's no camera. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Good try. Zoom in on the mic. Um, <laughs> I know we're also going to touch on, uh, Dan has a project going on right now. He's going to talk about that for a little bit. And Donovan also has a project going on. So we'll get to all that. Um, you could probably open up with uh, the cloud comp. Uh, I would go with this. This one oh, right here. Good this. point. Do it. Do it right now. No, no, okay. Do it. We still don't have a winner for this Delaire V3 giveaway. Nobody guessed it right. <clears throat> no one has gotten the right answer. So go back, do your research. Uh, when someone gets the right answer, we'll we'll give it away. But until then, good luck. Yes. So go back to the contest video, and you have to comment on that video in order to be eligible. To yes. Win. Episode fourteen. First person to guess it wins. Awkward silence. Awkward how, how silence. How about people that have already guessed? Can they? They can guess again. Yeah. 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 Okay. But There's I mean, if you spam right. it, it's if obviously... you guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, we're not going to do it. Yeah. You... Okay. Yeah. Just want to make that clear because I'm sure some people have questions. You can, you about can make it. one more guess if I mean, yeah. Maximum of one. two guests per person. There you go. That'll work. Done. Easy. Done. It's the law now. Ryan said it. <laughs> Ryan hasn't said a thing. That's the point. Oh. <laughs> so, it's not, so it's not a law. I'm confused. You stop. So you're making me a box mod that didn't get Atomizer. finished today, and I'm really. Uh, I tried to finish it today. He's supposed it's to make me a box mod, and he hasn't. I know, Dan. Look, what's going on? Okay, yeah. it's not like so, you got three kids and a job or nothing like that. Get I know, on. right? Or I a know. dog that eats the first one. Uh, see what happened was I was working <laughs> on the first waiting. one, and uh, <laughs> I set the box in my in my shed out back to dry from paint, and I left the door open. And I have a German Shepherd that chews everything, so that box got destroyed. Everything. Everything. So your dog eats paint chips. Yes. <laughs> My dog eats everything. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't lead based. Like, like, bro, yeah, like he freshly, literally... Freshly painted, walks in there, dog's just on its back. Like, Look, so right okay. <laughs> I walked outside today because he was in the front yard, and I don't know how he got out there. And he broke the fence. Literally rammed his head into the fence <laughs> and knocked the board off the... Your well, dog's OP, dude. Yeah. My dog is OP. <laughs> he knew he could do it. He's just like... Poof. All right, I'm out. So, uh... Yeah, the first box got destroyed, but uh, I ordered another box. I just got the parts, and I was going to try to finish it today, but um, had a couple setbacks and didn't get the chance to do that. Of course, the, fin the paint probably wouldn't have finished by the time we got done here. This is where I insert my fail picture. Yeah. I tried. Got mostly done. Good job, though. Mostly done. Mostly done. Yeah, I've never built anything wait. close to a box mod. It. Yeah. It's going to be like an EDM box mod. When I push the button, it's going to, like... Explode? <laughs> I built a bird like, house. It's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna rave lights. No. I built He's just. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> I built a crazy wood shop. And I'm working on an awesome project right here. Boom! Pokeball. Gary had a That's Pokeball. A Pokeball. I got it from him, and now I turn it into mod. Fed Daddy five ten. Switch on the bottom. Donovan, name Pokeball a Pokemon like that's not Pikachu. <laughs> Charizard. Oh, I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I knew it was going to be one of the three stars. Name one more. Squirtle. I know this because of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. All right, name one that's not on there. 
<laughs> Looking to Dan for help. Uh, I was trying to remember the Pokemon he said earlier. And I can't <laughs> we even told you what, what which one was in that, too. Meowto. What up? That's, nope. That's Got no. it. That's not no. how it's... That's it's close. It's, it's close. very close. But, but it's not it. <laughs> it's not it. <clears throat> Mew, not... Mewtwo. It's oh, Mewtwo. really? Yeah. Oh, man. Mew and Mewtwo. Anyway, it's like how you right, don't... Donadon. 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 Starting to feel like Donovan Donadon. 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 And then I'm waiting on the battery slide. What did you play with when you were in like... Let me see this thing. Himself. Dude, that's a poor kid, dude. I went to rock, like, ditches and threw rocks at each other. Like, dude, that's, the game and we had battle rocket fights. You went, you went outside and like... And battle rocket fights and yeah. blew our friend's ears off. Yeah, we, yeah, I didn't play card games. My parents, we didn't have money. Pokemon was also an anime, a video game, and a card game. We didn't have cable TV either. I didn't have money. You either. didn't have cable TV in the '90s, but I've somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think you missed part of this conversation. Yeah. Oh my god! I so. <laughs> no, Gary, so, I didn't have cable okay. TV in the '90s. <laughs> I'm just saying that's when Pokemon came hey, out. Hey, you know what? <laughs> On that note, have any of you ever heard of? Uh... Oh shoot! What is it called? It was a cable program for video games. For the Sega Sega Channel. Sega Channel. You yeah. ever heard of that? Yeah. My friend had it. it. it was I had really cool. that when I was a kid, and they discontinued it. And I was so disappointed. I think it was well, awesome. Dude, what, we what got, only the rich had kids had it. Had it. We have Twitch now. I yeah. wasn't rich, but I had it. Do you guys remember the uh, the movie uh, The Wizard? The Wizard? Video game Wizard? Nope. Sorry. Oh, it was a game genie. It was an old movie about a kid that like, um, like played nice. video games for a living. He was all like pro on it and stuff like that. Like he was just really good at it. And, like, there's this scene where, like, he goes, comes up to, like, the cocky, really good, the guy that's, like, really good at games. And he's playing a racing game with the power glove. <clears throat> I remember the awesome, power glove. It was an awesome little movie. Grandma's was. Dude, someone movie. should make a vape out of the power glove. That's do. <laughs> that's pretty do. That podcast. <laughs> where are you even going to find one? I don't eBay? care. We had one at a pawn shop back in South Dakota. What? Do we have one now? No. Wait, what? You could. He you, wants you me could... to cut all of this so that... You could like put an atomizer on each finger. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it, and then use your thumb to yep. activate it. Use your thumb to push each, push each one. P- to push, what? To push to each what? one. <laughs> to push each one. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, basically, you probably electrocute yourself. Yeah. Why? Your fingers would get really hot. Why? Especially if they're like <laughs> carrying yeah, yeah, the power glove. There's like, like there's stuff on top of it, so you put like all your stuff like right here. It wouldn't yeah. get that hot. It would get hot. It would get hot. <clears throat> it would not be. You'd sharp. be like cloud comp. <sighs> My fingers burning. That's, 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 how you, that's, how, that's how you go cloud comp. <laughs> that wouldn't look gay at all. No. Nope. No. <laughs> 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 you just done eating KFC with your power glove. Why are you licking your fingers? Oh, all right. I'm gonna cut <laughs> all of that out. <laughs> I'm gonna cut all of that out. What? Why would you do Why? that? He told no, me to. No, no, no I don't really cut it out. <laughs> This is I, the greatest got, part got, of the show. I got vetoed. <laughs> so, so uh, your idea. Power Glove would be dope, but not what you're thinking of. <laughs> That'd be weird. Just permanently attach a mod. Yeah, fuck your idea, Kevin. <laughs> you know what would actually make a pretty sweet mod for, or a box for a mod is a uh, Wiimote. That's already that's been, been done. Been done. I've yeah. seen that. They've done it with the Wiimote and the Nintendo controllers. They've done it with Game Boys. What about a Chia I, I've actually... Mod? Where I got the idea is I've seen someone have a different type of Pokeball and they turn it into a mod and I was like, ooh, Gary has one. This (laughs) is big enough to fit dual 26650s in, so that's what I'm going to do. Ah. (laughs) You could make a mod out of a Furby. You could teach them words, couldn't you? No. Yeah, you could teach them words. I I taught mine swear words. (laughs) (laughs) What? What kid didn't? Dude, I I, I, I was never patient enough to actually teach it words. Oh, I sat there for hours. (laughs) 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 <laughs> my sister had one, and my dad would always go to the racetrack, and so my sister's Furby didn't learn any words. It learned race car noises. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, so you'd be sitting there, and be like, Brrr. <laughs> what? Yeah. Now mine would probably just not learn how to make fart noises. <laughs> no, what's that uh, creepy Aww. teddy bear that everyone's afraid of that came out back in the day? It used to read you stories and teddy stuff like that. Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy yeah. Ruxpin, that thing what? was awesome. Those things were creepy. No way, dude. That thing was not teddy creepy. Teddy Ruxpin? Yeah. 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 It was like a huge deal. So it's oh, the guy that watched... little cartridges in he the back. He didn't have a childhood. Yeah, he did. So it's the guy no, that, that watched creepy videos of guys that want to kill us in the boy. 
He he's doing it up voice and trolls. put a cassette in it, and he would tell you a story as yeah. his mouth moved. His mouth and eyes would move and shit. Yeah. Of course, they never That's kept working, so like it would stop and have a lazy Teddy eye that would go over here. <laughs> <laughs> Only its bottom jaw would work. They, they Teddy Rex became creepy. Apparently, they made a new one, so there's a, like a revised really? version, just like the first. Yeah, one. my little sister got one of those, and I knew right away what it was, and I was like, "Keep that evil thing away from me. I those things are cool. creepy." I had one. They're creepy. You know my mind right now, Gary. You know what I want to make a box? Does that really, of? Does that really surprise you? Well, he's like he's like Mr. Creep video game. Like if the That's video true. game's not creepy enough, he doesn't play it. And yeah. like, he, he, has, he has a Five Nights at Freddy character in his house now. That's what I'm saying. What? what? Wait, what? Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, what? You basically have one of them. At your... Why? A robot. The robot teddy bear in the video game. Oh, oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I was get tracking. It. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Nobody else. Oh, I get it. I got it now. I think we would have got that one, but no. So, you know yeah, what I want so to make Yeah, so you better shine your light so he hey, doesn't kill you. You know what I want to make a box one out of? The Nintendo 64 controller. That a, would be cool. The back button as the firing button. That, that actually might be How about just a whole Nintendo 64? Yeah. Yeah. That's doable. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> 8 or 12 uh, 26650s in, in the inside of it. <laughs> Carry around in your backpack. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> on that note... Um, Thank you guys. <laughs> Cloud Comp. What Cloud Comp? Cloud Comp on the 31st. Um, so for the free for all competition, the prizes are going to be first place is a Gladiator mod with a Mutation X V2. Copper one to match. Yep. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the second place is an authentic Dark Horse. The first place is both authentic as well. I, don't, I didn't say that. But. Then third place is an authentic Mutation X V2 by itself. Um, the single, <laughs> the single two <laughs> mech mod, the, the single two or single battery mech mod. Uh, we're doing cash prize. We're doing two hundred dollars for first place, a hundred dollars for second, and fifty for third. So bring what you got. It's gonna be fun. We have a lot of sponsors. Uh, we'd like to thank them all. Um, there's so much stuff to be given away too, just for being here. What were the rules? Wrong what you brung? Wrong what you brung. They're going to check to make sure it's safe. Honestly, I if mean, you're trying to sub ohm a .04 with a Camry battery, I'm not going to let you run. Yeah. yeah. It's we're we're going to make sure issue. it's safe. I mean, but, yeah. yeah. We'll, so we'll look it over. Your box I got my batteries out of a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> that happens so much more than you guys would think. Oh, no, I know. No, I know. <laughs> it's, it's bad. And I tell people, don't use them, please. And they're like, okay, okay. And I tell my kid, yeah, he's still using them. Yeah. They're green. They're like Sony's. Like, batteries is, like, the biggest part of the safety of vaping. If you're not yes. using the proper battery, you could seriously hurt yourself. Gary. And it's just not smart. What? I've never Gary. hurt myself. Gary. Like, Gary we, discussed, in, like we discussed in vaping one... Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in that. Uh, on that note. On that note, uh, we hope to see everyone there. It's going to be a huge event. We also have a live band that's going to be playing for us. Uh, can we say who it is? Yeah. I think so. Uh, my brother to differ. I think I mentioned it last week as well. Oh, anyways, they're playing. It's going to be awesome. So to They make yeah. really good music. We're Check really, out their Facebook page. Really they excited. have lots of cool stuff on Give, there, too. Yeah, like their page. It's good stuff. Oh, I wanted to mention how many followers we have. Yeah. There's a lot of followers. That's now. awesome. 235 subscribers on YouTube Sweet. right now. Sweet, I'm buying a fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go buy a ten cents? With them. Yes. <laughs> At the Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Macklemore. Hey, I'm not going to lie, dude. I picked up some sweet Shit, stuff. Shit, it was 99 cents. Exactly. <laughs> I picked up some pretty sweet stuff at a, a thrift shop before. But we do have a lot of followers now. That's kind of nice. Pretty cool. A lot of subscribers. Over, over 200 now. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. We yes. appreciate yes, it, Thank everybody. you very much. And then on that note, there was a thing with the thing with the thing. And I totally forgot what I was going to say. So, okay. Yeah. It was, Good story. It was kind of embarrassing. Right? Well, while he's doing that, we'll start on Donovan's. Uh, or, well, Whoa. Donovan. Whoa. This guy. Dan. Drink my beer. Donovan. Dan's vape review, or e-juice review. I can't talk anymore, so <sighs> take it away. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to be doing a, a juice review on the Lighthouse e-juice, Cape Fear. Um, it is actually my favorite e-juice right now, which is fantastic because it replaced Cutwood. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really impressive. They did a really good job on the Especially juice. because the favors you did for me for the boss. I know, sure. right? <laughs> we won't talk about that. Yeah, your wife's going to get mad. Yes. Anyways, oh, I'm mad. <laughs> uh, so basically, it is a vanilla custard with strawberry, and uh, it's delicious. I don't, I don't know, like how to explain how good this juice is. Like it's like so pretty you, bomb. What nicotine level do you vape? I vape a three. 
You vape a three. Yes. So on the three nick, how does that compare to other three nicks you've had in juice? It's not as harsh. So it's a nice smooth. It's very smooth. Nick yeah. Hit to it. That's yeah. good. That's good. Like uh, I did try the six as well, and the six is pretty smooth too. It's a little more harsh. Obviously, it's a six nick. So, mm -hmm. but um, I think comparable. It's not too much of a difference from six to three. Must try. Very must try. Must try. Very. I do have to say that I've dealt with the creator of Lighthouse quite a bit. He's an awesome dude, which yes. makes oh, it yeah. even more kudos me towards the product. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. He's really cool. He's a cool guy. Last event we had, I, I totally messed up his build. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Kinda. I, I, if you watch this, I apologize. <laughs> I, I still feel bad about it. That's Shout it. out to Lighthouse E-Liquids, and sorry about Kevin messing up your build. Thank you, Adam. You rock. <laughs> but yeah, on the juice note, um, it's a great juice. Must vape. It's... Uh, very tasty. Very tasty. Cool. Very nice. I like it a lot. When would you get that 30 mil? Uh, a few days ago. Obviously. You still have some left. Yeah, I don't well, know. I, mean, Dan, I can't Dan, really tell in here. Dan builds a little bit lower than most of us. He doesn't rip through juice as higher. fast as... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, higher on. He doesn't, he doesn't rip through juice as fast as Gary or Kevin does. <laughs> it's lower on a scale of awesomeness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, he doesn't go through it as quickly. Yeah, no. I definitely build a little bit higher than mostly everybody here. Well, because you don't, you don't like cloud chase every day. Yeah. Plus, every day. Well, I do like the, the warmer day. vapes, too. So. Do you know what your build is at right now? Uh, I don't. It's probably like a point two four. What are you rocking on there? Oh, is that your... Is that the braided? No. no. Oh. It's 24 gauge 5 wrap? Yes. So you you built Probably a braided about two four right yeah you right built on. a uh, braided build I did was that your first time doing a braided no um, it was not enjoyable either though yeah no it's never fun <laughs> what gauge uh, was that with I did a twenty four wrap twenty four gauge, gauge. A twenty four gauge yeah. twenty four wraps no twenty four <laughs> wraps wow so I was like, like, like so uh, basically <laughs> I did a four wrap braided with twenty four gauge it's basically three pieces of wire braided and. Um, while I was doing it, I was just kind of like, instead of stopping, take a breather on braiding it, I was just trying to crank through fight, it. Yeah, crank yeah. through it and fight through the pain. I was like, oh, it's just like getting a tattoo. Let's just get it done. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, I'm kind of sore right there. <laughs> and the next day, I was like, why is it still sore? Oh, I cut my finger. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was checking out a lot of builds today. Calm um, down. The Instagram, <laughs> like own boy, twisted messes, like their builds. Squid dude. Yeah, their their builds are like fused, clapped in staples and yeah. coils. Oh Something my god! You know, twisted I've with seen... parallel nichrome. Like those builds are absolutely insane. Clapped in zipper, twisted parallel like, sleeper. You like know, I'm afraid to ones... attempt one because I don't want to get mad and frustrated at it. And like their coils are just. Bomb.com. One of the ones I saw that I, I wanted to try, but I didn't because I saw the person building it, is um, the Caterpillar track coil. Yes. And basically, yes. you take a piece of wire and you wrap it around a bunch of other wires and you smash it with a jeweler's hammer a bunch of times. And I don't know. It just seems like way too much time to put into a coil. Way too much time. But that's like these people saying that. And you don't even need like to cotton awesome. it. it. It absorbs juice by itself. You can do that with braided. Hmm. Yeah. Not could. as well, though. No. Pretty well with braided. Yeah. So shoot yeah. through your tugboat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole <laughs> idea behind those kind of coils, though, is to like, hold all this juice and all the different pockets inside of that coil. Yeah. I definitely hit my braided a few times. I, I don't mean, know. With yeah. This. But I think you it definitely get, does better with Yeah, cotton. you can't get many hits out of it. Yeah. Twisted messes, if you're watching this, I want you to build my Addy. <laughs> Seriously. Not joking. Please. Have you guys ever looked at the uh, the like build fails? Yeah, those are almost oh, yeah. those are almost just as good. Yes, <laughs> oh, they're all, yeah, they're pretty good. Dean up decks is some pretty cool stuff too. I've yep. seen uh, like his chain link fence build that he did, or the uh, crow's feet. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty bomb. That chain link, I know, it's gonna take a long time. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty cool build though. Yeah, no, it's, it's braided, but you're basically I don't, I don't even know. I don't grasp. He did this weird dodeca coil once because he uses uh, nichrome as like hangers for his uh, wire suits and have to put the wire actually through the post. Right. And uh, he did 12 coils going all the way around his Addy. That's insane. 12 <laughs> vertical coils. I, it was a little too much for me, but 
it was still pretty cool. I want to know how he builds them and then still wraps it so neatly on the top coil when he uses the, the nichrome mm -hmm. hanger. Like, everything's perfect. Yeah. He probably spends at least a day or two building these. There's no way he can... You, never, mean, know. you never know. When people, when people <clears throat> put their mind to it and they get going... Yeah, yeah, people are can, crafty, You man. can whip it out in an hour. This is crazy. But for yeah. you, those that are watching that don't know, and we're saying like nichrome, canthal, different gauges of wire, there's like tons and tons of different types of vape wire out there right now that's <clears throat> safe to vape. Some of it's questionable, but at the same time, that's what we're talking about. So it's a little more research <clears throat> that needs to be done. What's wrong with canthal? There's nothing. I love, I love Absolutely canthal. nothing. That's <laughs> where I'm at. I'm there's, like, there's so many, like, there's so many other types of wire out there, and I'm looking at it like, yeah, that's okay. That works great. That's hotter. Cool. What's wrong with Kintel? Like, yeah. Just learn how to build on Kintel. Yeah. When you're building like this massive coil, though, like these guys do, you kind of want something that has a like lower that. resistance. So yeah, you if, you're right, if you're running a higher ohm coil, you probably want something with a lower resistance. Actually, too. dude, their coils are just massive. Yeah. And but... they suggest you run them on like a variable voltage box. Oh, really? Just because there's so much wire there <clears throat> to heat up, yeah. even though it, it still is a low resistance, though. You want to be pushing like a lot of watts through it. Yeah. That'd be something like the variant would be good for. I learned how to do the builds that I like, and I stuck to it. So. Yep, I don't need to go no, no yeah. special route or anything like that. Maybe a zipper coil, but that's about it. I'm thinking about building a staple coil. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I mean, it's legit. It's sweet. You take a ribbon wire, you get about five or six pieces of it, lay them on top of each other, and then clap it around it, and then it looks like a row of staples, like when for like the huh. staple guns. Yeah, that's cool. Trying to get. Eight pieces of ribbon wire to stay together while doing that's going to be the challenging part. <laughs> scotch tape. The scotch tape one end. Tor torch the ends. And Melt it. Weld it. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Tack weld it. The ends. Yeah. Tack weld it. Done. Yep. Done. Done. So any new mods coming out in the vape world you guys are looking forward to or anything like that? Any companies to watch or anything you guys have seen? You know, I've been so freaking busy that I haven't been paying attention. Yeah. I, w I came in and I was talking to Kevin about this uh, a couple of days ago. Like, I, I don't know. Recently, I've just felt like, personally, I feel disconnected from the vape family, you know? Me I don't too. know why. It's because I'm not coming in here as often because I have giant <clears throat> balls of juice, so I'm not showing up as often. I have plenty of cotton. Like, I'm just not in the shop anymore. And on top of that, like, I'm not touching Facebook. I don't know why. I just kind of feel disconnected from the whole vape scene altogether, and I don't like it. I think, I've missed you. I think part of it is, like, when you go on vacation, like I was saying to you, I mean... Yeah. You, you go out of town for a little bit and you don't want, you know, you're, you're on vacation. You don't want to mess with your phone. You don't want to do the whole Facebook thing. You just want to relax and do what you do. Yeah. It got to the point, too, where, like, every time I'd vape and so, what is that? It it changed from, well, it's this, into, <sighs> <laughs> let me explain it to you it's for the vape. 20th time today. <laughs> yeah. Sad no, story. There's nothing really I'm looking forward to. They already came out with the White Anarchist top cap, so that's really about it. That's all I've been keeping my eye on. I did see the Triton today, which is an awesome mod. Yeah. Dual 18650. A customer came in with it. You can put two atomizers on top. And it it's comes got a little a, mouthpiece to connect yeah, them together. A sweet mouthpiece that goes over both the tips. And yeah, you could totally vape. I still want a you Jesus could, mod. Like, you could have vanilla oh, custard yeah. in one and then just strawberry in the other. And, and like vape them together and get vanilla Jesus strawberry. Mod. Yeah. <laughs> you can make your own Cape Fear. Yeah. Yeah. That, and then you're like, oh, I'm done with vanilla strawberry, and then you can take one off, and you just yeah. have your custard. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool idea, but what ohms can it handle? Uh, he said he had 2.08 ohms firing on that thing simultaneously, so... <laughs> that sounds wow. like something I need to it get was, my hands on. <laughs> it was rocking. That's a lot of draw. Yeah. It is. I wonder how long his batteries would last. I don't think he... I think he put it on there and vaped it and said, okay, that's enough. Probably. Just two tugboats on Because <laughs> he normally, he normally likes to vape his single coils with his flavor, real light stuff. He likes to do the mouth-to-lung hits, not the big old deep lung rips. So, yeah. Everybody's anyways, got their thing. Yep. It felt really cool in your hand and the switch. So when you hold it, the switch was like right there, which was very convenient. It like wrapped around your finger right here when you hit it. Hmm. Very cool. Well, I mean, the Praxis is kind of cool. I mean, I've always kind of thought they were neat looking. I know they're not new and upcoming, but I've always kind of thought they were kind of neat. Have you guys seen anything like really new that's going to be coming out? I um, think you guys probably keep up. Vicious with it. Ant just came out with an atomizer that's really unique. Like the top of it, you know how your pop pops off? Mm -hmm. There's actually slides out to the side. Oh, oh yeah, I, I saw that. that. Yeah, those things are pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? Instead well, instead of, of having to pop it out, off. you can just be like bloop, drip, drip. Yeah, pretty sweet. Chuff kid. 
Well, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's yeah. a good alternative for that. Yeah. yeah, it's just something unique and different. Yeah. Vicious Ant's been making some unique stuff. Yeah, they're pretty uh, breakthrough when it comes to some of their stuff. Yeah, like if not, they're very if I if I were in the, in the industry of making mods and making atomizers, I'd probably go for stuff that's really hard to clone. Or things that would take norm, norm. yeah, like something that would take a lot of money to be able to make it the, this way. That way, like it's not worth cloning because you would have to spend that same amount of money to make it work. Use diamonds, way, you know. But you know what's well, going to happen? Like the like the use diamonds. The glass ti, like that's going to get cloned. Eventually. It already has. It's already been. Oh, well, there you go. And yeah. it's probably just got like a plastic bottom to it. Yeah, but they didn't clone the glass TI. Because in order for trying to use titanium, it would be outrageous. Yeah. See, so like ways like that. Like I would find ways to make it so that like if it were a clone, it's definitely not going to be a one. They'd probably just doll up some aluminum and call it yeah. titanium. Yeah. <laughs> that seems to be the route to go. And then I have but, seen the clones that are out, and they are trash. Or just uh, get a patent. The same, same <laughs> Still thing got goes for that too, though. Yeah. And still is getting cloned. Yeah. Like... If, even if you made something that was more expensive to make initially, they'd find a different way to do it. Yeah. They'd find a cheaper... Like, like the variant? Yep. Well, the variant, I don't know how much that actually costs to make that one. I don't know, but it, I mean... 750 bucks. 100 bucks on Fast Tech, I believe, and you get the whole kit with the battery and the charger. <clears throat> That's about all I know. It's great. I want Chinese lipos and a Chinese charger. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Let me let me get something that's 250 watts made in China with no quality control and vape that on my face. Yeah, but face. China's great with their electronics. <laughs> They've always put... I'm not trying Something to be like that. No, no. With, with, with their legit electronics, yes. But when they're... In From this subject, um, make <laughs> as far as making boxes and stuff like that. Did you guys ever have like a little childhood project you remember like spending a ton of time on? I built the treehouse with my dad. <clears throat> well, because we were that talking about stuff the treehouse like was awesome. Like uh, I, my parents when they moved out of their old house, we were going through and like taking stuff out, and we found like this little piece of tree bark with like it was like dried up grass or something, and little peanuts with our family's names over dried them. Dried up little, grass. Yeah, it was a church group thing. I used to go to Sunday school. Actually, it looked like your beard. <laughs> it didn't. Actually, I, know I it did have one but, thing. Like, that it was I a remember. little peanut family. We just found that. I thought it was hilarious. Took pictures of it and nice. sent, it, sent it to my brother. Like, uh, uh, what do they call them? Little stick yeah, families totally. on the windows. What, Dan? <clears throat> the displays. Uh, <laughs> the set up. I, said, I do nativity know one thing that I had. Uh -huh. <laughs> have a peanut nativity scene? <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, was like supposed to be my family, but kind of, yeah. Oh. You know those uh, wood. Katanas and stuff they sell in the stores that are like practice swords yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I could never afford one as a kid, so I made one out of like a piece of wood that I had. Yeah, we made them out of PVC pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and when, I, when I say we made them no, out of PVC pipe, I, I, I mean we just took and... PVC pipes and hit each other with them. Right on. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. No, I took a Dremel and carved out this like little katana, wooden katana out of mm -hmm. it. It was, I don't know. Nice. Bored. Did you stab anybody with it? No. Like okay. my childhood projects with. My parents was like making go karts and stuff like that. Well, we weren't rich like you. I'm yeah, sorry. I, thought, I, I thought you had no money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know someone that works at a junkyard, you can piece together engines. That's true. Yeah. Well, I was the kid when. Well, my dad was the dad where when I was growing up, everything that was supposed to like go and had a little bit of momentum to it, my dad would put an engine on it. I think yes. we've talked about this. Yeah, before. we have yeah. talked about yeah. this. Well, because like we, uh, it came up the other day. One of my nephews or something like that got one of those little go-go Bronco things. And I was like, "Don't let my dad see it. <laughs> I think it'll do seventy miles an hour." <laughs> That's I don't funny. know how fast it will go <laughs> yet. So you know those old Schwinn, like the tricycles, like they were made for grown adults, but they had the two wheels in the back and the one in the front. The gigantic one in the front? No. No, it wasn't a big wheel. It was like... <laughs> yeah, I know what you're no, like, It was like a beach cruiser too. Yeah, it something? was like a beach cruiser, but yeah. for like... And it has a basket. It was a tricycle okay. with a basket in the back. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we... Me and my dad totally took one of those and put a 10 horsepower Briggs and Stratton on it. With a lawnmower <laughs> rear end. Like, it was it was a little ridiculous. That's pretty legit. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Nice. I was around like... like 
motors pretty much my whole life growing up as a kid. Like I remember my first time riding a three wheeler. I rammed it into a fence. Right on. I was nice. I was my sister ran herself barely over old wheeler. enough to like start remembering. You know how you have like those traumatizing memories, but you don't yeah. remember being that young. Yep. I remember my brother putting me on top of this three wheeler and showing me this is what you press to go forward, and I was like, "Cool, whop!" Straight into a fence. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you forgot something. Yeah, it didn't tell me how to turn, brake, nothing. Small I small just... vehicles. My dad used to golf a lot. Well, he probably still does, but you know, we don't talk about golf. Anyways, he used to let me drive the golf cart a lot. I, I don't, I don't did, golf. Did I hate golf. Okay. Happen. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, he got so, a birdie on a par five. Son of a bitch. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I don't. Anyways, I don't know golf, man. That's so your dad. Hey, used to, I was talking your about dad something. Dad used to golf what a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he used to let me drive the golf cart, and I would be really bored out there. So I would wear my headphones with my CD player because I had a little, you know, a little double A, Walkman. triple A power. Yeah, bump and it skips for five seconds. Yeah. yeah. Mine didn't have the yeah, anti skip No, I didn't either. <laughs> so um, I had that in like the little slot that you can put stuff in on the golf cart, and I had my headphones on, and I was driving to the next spot my dad wanted me to drive to, and my CD player falls out when I when I turned, and I went to grab it while I turned kept turning, and I <laughs> ran over a golf ball washer. Oh my <laughs> god! Yes, with a golf cart. <laughs> so that happened, and that was pretty entertaining. <laughs> my dad was so pissed. <laughs> was this at like one of the country club golf yeah. courses? Yeah. So they were probably pretty happy about that. Oh yeah, <laughs> they were super happy. And my grandpa. But I was like, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> the, I don't know what to do. My grandpa had his own golf cart, and they they had their garages where they park them at the place. He let me drive it when I was really little, and I totally... I never thought it was me that actually did it, because we always saw it year after year, but there's a big old smash dent on the side of the garage door, and I totally <laughs> hit it when I was younger, and it was there for, like, ten years. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's excellent. It was. Let's talk about crashing more stuff. Anybody else? Let's all just buy a <clears> bunch <throat> of golf carts, My dad spray paint really, vape out on the side of them, and There's a golf cart for sale next door. <laughs> yeah, I've, that's just I've that. thought about buying it. I yeah. Really have. yeah, so we can use it to the Quickie Mart runs. Have you guys seen those? Like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> have you guys seen how crazy some of the golf carts get now? Yes. Yeah. Like, there's a guy up here somewhere that <clears throat> makes them custom. He puts, like, stereos in them, suspension, lift. Yeah, it's right off of Bear stuff. Valley. Yeah. yeah. Hydraulics? Yeah. 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 Dude, every, he, he does whatever you want in those things. It's crazy. Like, nah, it's pretty cool. Like, Maybe. going out in the desert and, like, off-road riding I don't know and if you stuff is, like, big out here. So when you have your little pit mobile to cruise around in, <laughs> everyone goes to, like, the golf carts because it's... Most cost effective. They're not gnarly. You can yeah. drive to the poop hole. You know, good to go. Yeah, All right. <laughs> drive that. to the poop hole. The poop the desert, hole. Poop um, I think that's where we're going to end this. <laughs> we're ending. Uh, on the oh, we're ending it on the poop hole. <laughs> um, oh. So remember, comment on episode fourteen. Uh, someone's got to win that Sailor V three. We're waiting to give it away. No one wants to win it. You can give so. it to me. Yeah, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> um, so yes, please comment on that video. Figure it out. Uh, we're we're excited to give it away, so we can do our next one. I don't know what it'll be, but fantasticism. I'm just gonna keep rambling until I know everyone's ready, even though they're already ready. We'll see you next time. Vapors gonna vape. Stop clapping. Donovan's oh, got yeah. the clap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Seriously. Okay. Go. I can't. <laughs> Welcome to the Vape Out Podcast. <clears throat> we are all, all right. high. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>